Hi everybody, today is Saturday, September 10th, 2022, and this is episode lucky number seven oh. of Running With Scissors, Stitching With Jane and Julie. I'm Jane. And I'm Julie. Seven. Lucky, lucky seven. seven. Cool, cool, cool. We have got so much to share with you today and a little different format than we're used to. We're going to try to stay with the same sharing process, but um, this is our trick or treat issue. issue. And tips. Don't forget about the tips. <laughs> tips, tricks, and treats. Yes. And we have a lot of all of those things today, for sure. Yeah. You're going to have to help me out here because this whole camera setup thing frazzles me something terribly. And I'm lucky I it even is know. Kind of process every time. I'm lucky I even know my name by the time we get to the sit down stage. It's so chilly. I feel like I'm sitting on your lap. Um, Jeff, okay. <laughs> this is how it's going to be. I hope that woke you up. And what happens when we hear the sound of the bell, Julie? Well, when the bell dings, or whoever dings the bell. Or I could just be the ding. <laughs> we are going to share a tip or trick, and we're going to share a treat. Now, mm. Halloween, of course, is all the goodies that I could tip it, but it all fall on the table. Brings back so many memories. I know. What's your favorite out of here? I like the $100,000 <laughs> bars. Those are fighting And words. let me tell you. These are not safe to have in the house mm -hmm. more than an hour before the trick-or-treaters yep. come. Because I've been known to eat so many of them that the crispy little crumbles in there cut up the <laughs> roof of my mouth. Oh, no. Pace yourself. Chocolate injury. Pace yourself. It's now, terrible. at our house, I have to, when I buy a bag of Twix, I have to pull all of the lefts out. Not the rights, because yeah. Bella will only eat the left ones. I, I offered her a right one, and she said, no, that's okay. And I'm like, seriously, oh, child. But um, before we get started, I did want to do a little shout out. All right, let's do it. There, we have two fans. I think our youngest <gasps> fans. And they watch these videos over and over again. God bless. Not because they stitch, because they're children, but because I am Bella's grandma, and this is I'm Bella's. Just plain Jane. This is Bella's grandma's friend Jane, and so I would like to say thank you for watching us, Daisy and Daphne. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daphne. Hi, dolls. So they, every time they hear me say something about Bella, they say, oh, Bella's going to be on now. And she never is. And even though they watch them over and over, they know she's not going to be on. But we kind of have a little special treat at the end of the, vi the video because both of us will talk now, not just only me because I've got a bad voice today. Jane and I have patroned a local chocolate shop for years, years. Yeah. And when Bella was five years old and not taking a nap anymore, like those days got oh, really long. So we, I would take her to the chocolate store as a field trip. Of course, pre-COVID, you could just taste whatever you wanted with a little spoon. Now it's they glorious, have them please. in little sealed samples, so you still are free to taste everything oh, in the store. So. They're just individually packaged. Yeah. So, um... This is, you hold the card up because sure. you're less shaky. It's called the Droolin' Moose. We are not paid sponsors. Nope. We are just, just fans. fans. And so as much as we love the classic candy, we are yeah. uh, going to indulge in some adult chocolate. Grown-up chocolate. Premium ingredients. <gasps> The staff could not be more kind. Oh, they're so nice there. Yeah, so we are going to drool on. I'm going to get my drool on. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor? We both have a I favorite. I like <clears throat> squirrel bait. It's, it's kind of boring, just chocolate-covered peanuts, but the quality of their chocolate is so yeah. great that there's really no such thing as just a chocolate-covered peanut. No. And my favorite is Almond Trails. 
whole almond dipped in milk Those might chocolate. Be my second favorite. So you know, for two old gals, we're pretty, pretty basic with our needs. Yeah. But when we drool, it's big time. So we drool. We will share with you. All right. Is that about all we were going to? Uh, Till the bell rings again. <laughs> The next time it rings, we'll do a tip or trick or, a, or we might indulge in a treat. <laughs> my, I, yeah, I'd say so. i got to fix something here. One of my models. Okay, so. I apologize in advance for the chomping sounds that you're going to hear as I, I indulge in these tasty treats. I usually don't like to eat on camera, but here we go. <laughs> We're going to have to hide behind where's that, that uh, whiteboard we <laughs> If we disappear. Uh, one each, I think we're gonna. This may this may be all you see the entire video. <laughs> Only her eyes as her mouth is moving. Exactly. So did you do any stick? Oh wait, let's show that. Since oh, we're talking yes. chocolate, <clears throat> how fun is this? See the chocolate. Taste the chocolate. Today, let's be the chocolate. Be one. A simple. Chocolate simple cross stitch design you can do it in any color you want i did an apricot in between uh peach colored um but the chocolates are in different color browns when it's stitched on 32 count linen it fits in a standard 8 by 10 frame nothing standard about this frame no it's just a regular frame i think it's really cute and this is one of your designs yeah just yep and it is available. Yeah, it is available. On Julie's website, which will be in the description box. Down below. Down below. Shameless plug. I love that. But I I mean, I just thought I've got to stitch that. It hangs in my office as a it reminder. It looks like it would be a, a fast stitch, yeah. too. Yeah, and you can customize it in whatever colors you want. So That's I awesome. saw that on the top of your stack because our table is so filled with chocolate. We are you so guys. pinned in here, you yep. guys. It's and I have to do a disclaimer to start. The Gophers are playing Western Illinois right now. <laughs> and my husband is oh. over here beyond the door. And he is a big fan. Avid sports fan. So if you hear yelling or colorful language, I apologize. Yeah. Hear the roar. We'll pretend we're at the stadium. <laughs> You're right. Wave. <clears throat> Our cups are sweaty, so be careful. Oh, I just had to edit myself there. I was going to say other things might be sweaty today, but it's okay. Shall we start Please with Please let's start talking about stitching. All right, stitching. What did you stitch on this week? Okay, I have a finish. Do you want me to show my finish? Sure. Okay. We're just going to go. There's. I brought a little script, a little outline, mainly just to remind. Okay, little. <laughs> Little. Okay. Okay. Little script. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is painful. There. I'm serious. Are my, you okay? No. My mind is so <laughs> full. This is. Oh boy. I am gonna put this tray of goodness up here though. I think. Might be for the best. Yeah. Okay. Um, you remember uh, last time that one of the things that I thought I might be able to finish is All Through the Night, Oh Christmas Tree. And here is the finish. It is beautiful. Here, put this behind there. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I was hoping I would take it out of the Q-snap and iron it, but I mean, like, who are we kidding? It's not so... I figured it would look less grungy if I kept it in the Q-snap. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. And um, you it know, was, may I, please? I, I wash my you're hands. You're not gonna rip this in half, no. are you? <laughs> Where's the big scissor? Make sure that's not anywhere nearby. I was. We were together yesterday because we hadn't seen each other in two weeks. This is not good. We've gotta. We can't do this. But I was over yesterday, and she did show this to me. And I was just really taken because to you, it looks like it's green. But when you've got it up close, you see all the subtle variegate, the shades yeah. of this silk. It, it's just, I was really taken when I saw it up close. 
that how beautiful that shading is. So um, lots of stitches. Lots of very small, 36 count, oh, 36. one over two stitches. Oh, with silk. Yeah, with dinky dyes, hand dyed seagrass. And I'm glad I bought an extra skein because I might want to do this color again. Um, oh. You know, there's that free uh, Christmas pattern from Hull from Liz Matthews that we downloaded. Yep. This would be a great it would. green. And a nice to use. little companion piece, too. Fancy. Fancy. Yes, yes. Um, and then uh, <clears throat> we were at the cabin for about a week. Um, one of my favorite places on earth. Someday, if I ever learn how to edit videos, I will put some pictures of the cabin. Oh, somewhere. But, but wait, you could post them. Wait, hold the press. You could put some pictures on our running with scissors stitching with Jane and Julie Instagram. We're we gonna be on Instagram. Are broadening our platform, two old gals out on the web. Right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, but I can't surf, so we'll just have to be out on the web. <laughs> on our wheelie chairs. Yeah. My fat girl stroller. That's where I'll be. Out on the web. Oh. So I did do some stitching. Um, another beautiful, beautiful project bag from Buckleberry Quilts. Love that. She was very kind. Yeah, yes, thank you so like much, Judy, for the shout out. She gave us a shout out on her Instagram account. Yes. Um, and that was very, very kind. And then um, lit a fire by saying, you know, you guys should really have an Instagram account. And we were like, oh, oh yeah, maybe we should. We should do that. Yeah, and we did. And we shall post. And yes. we'll link it in the description box. Thank you. So um, this is some progress on Come Terry by Shepherd's Bush. And yep, I didn't prep very well. That's okay. We were we were more worried about getting our chocolate all doled out in little samples. Yeah, cups. chocolate always takes priority, uh, I think. Um, and here is my progress. Have you done it all? So um, she's done. She's got a hill to stand on. The next band below was a fairly wide band of pattern darning, and the cabin is just not a place where you can do. Um, anything that requires good light. Um, so yeah, so that's that one. That is just beautiful. Thank you. That she sent. She did one. send a little um, updates. I'm on the hill. I started the hill. Might be the hill I die yeah. on, but, <laughs> but I started. It was. It's beautiful. And you know, when you just showed that, I'm like, oh, that's. Uh, then look at all that's still left to go. Yeah. Left to come in this. She's a big girl. That's a lot of um, specialty bands, and I'm really going to um, enjoy watching that progress. <laughs> um, the pattern gonna... darning, I think, will be okay. Down toward the <laughs> bottom, there's a very big band that um, gives me some PTSD already with some of the surface work on Julie Sophie Doily, but I, I'll persevere. <clears throat> It'll be okay. Excuse me. And then I also worked on my earth by Shepherd's Bush. Made some progress on that. Oh, I've not seen her progress on this. <clears throat> yeah, next time I'll be more prepared and I'll take them, I'll take oh, the scrolls okay. off. Hold oh, please. Oh, do we get chocolate? <laughs> yeah, or you can share a <clears throat> trick or a treat while oh, I'm Oh, it's not that. It's going to be that long. Oh, well, what are you eating? You didn't announce what you ate. You deigned and didn't announce. We did have some rules prior to the show. Again, so many rules. So many rules. <laughs> She's not going to share. While you're unscrewing that, I'll share. What Jane just popped in her mouth was a cherry bomb. Amazing. I can't eat these. These are not kind to me. But they are... Um, they are dried cherries drenched in um, milk chocolate, mm -hmm. and they are delicious. How was it? Very good. Are you ready? Did you? Are you over yeah. the cherry now? Yep. So this is the progress on my earth. 
Look at the arch. That's one thing I love about the Shepherd's Bush pieces yeah. are the framing of the simplicity yeah. or the framing that sets the tone for the rest of the sampler. Well, and it's reminiscent of um, the gathers. I won't try to take mm -hmm. this down, but if you could see behind me, this is the wool gather and it's got that same arch, you know, kind of arch with the vine and mm -hmm. the flowers and mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. And then um, last but not least, <clears throat> you were so busy stitching, is um, The Journey by Shepherd's Bush. I'm loving that. Again, another fabulous Buckleberry quilt bag. And then, oh, look, there's there's bonus coverage in here. Oh, look at a little notions bag. Gusseted on the bottom. Ooh, for balls. Yeah. That'll work for pearl cotton balls. Not like mm -hmm. tennis balls. <laughs> I thought you meant malted milk balls. Well, but okay, all right, I'll go with, we can go with it. <laughs> And um, oh, you've got all the boards. No, you've got everything. all the boards. Here is the progress. Um, Beautiful. So I made a little more um, progress. Oh, yeah, really enjoying it. That's the size of it now. She's she's just she's square. confined in that okay. zigzag border. There's no more to come. No. Okay. No. This is Very it. Nice. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. How about you? Well. <clears throat> I I spent the well I cleaned I I did clean on Sunday oh, like I had said so and I did give Tom a, a haircut? haircut and Bella I do her undercut because she's got this tremendously long hair <gasps> too much to put up I in wish a I had that hair. Yeah. oh my gosh so I did do that but that, was, that only took an hour but the rest of the time I did finishing I did basically two weeks of finishing work that I'll show you a little bit later. But I did want to show you um, my progress on, come said the oh. wind. The backing really shows the depth of the fabric. That is so gorgeous. I am just enjoying this so much. And for all the hoopla I had over drama hoopla drama sounds so negative hoopla sound like it might have been a party <laughs> okay so um just to catch you up for those of you who don't know it was suggested fabric 28 count cyprium <laughs> and I was being a little stinker and thought well maybe to um hush up Jane I would do it on 36 count Little did I know the saying was over one. And now to be reminded, there are beads on here. And I, oops, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know because I haven't bought the beads yet. But are the beads going to be too big because they were fashioned to be on 14 count? Because if you really picture a Mill Hill bead, it kind of is the size of a 14 count yeah. stitch, possibly 16, but is it going to just be look like big balls on a 18? I don't know. So I might like, have to consider seed beads. Well, I think instead. Mill Hill beads are seed beads, but I know at Michael's they have some like micro seed beads. Mm -hmm. I don't need 2,000 of them, I need like 12. You never know. But um, so that's yet another dilemma. Of being a smarty pants and not looking over my pattern but that's a long ways away but enjoy the uh, ride yes I am I really that's I really am because I wanted to show you because now take a good look I'm gonna have to scroll on oh, it's so have, exciting when you yeah, move the I scroll get, I get to move so I oh, should that's that excellent here. and then <clears throat> In the evening, I wanted to try a little something because, you know, I'm supposed to do multiple projects. Multiple. Projects. I have to say, being at the cabin um, was a great example about how multiple whips can really play to your mm -hmm. advantage. Because if I had just taken one, like come Terry, and I'd gotten to the pattern darning band, that would have been it for me for the rest of the week. Yeah. So... 
I took out another one and stitched what I could stitch there. And then when I got to a point where I needed better light, I took the other one out and stitched what I could stitch there. So mm -hmm. it yeah. was very nice. You very had mentioned nice. that. She goes, I know I kind of write down about having too many in progress, but, um, you know. Oh, it's time for another tip, trick, or treat. Oh, I'm going to do a tip slash trick. Now, Okay, you, this, blew, this blew my mind. What you might want to pay this? attention because you had threatened to plug your iron in. So I saw this on TikTok because, you know, I have a 16-year-old granddaughter, so TikTok is a thing. And I couldn't believe it. You know how when you're ironing and, like, if you're using that fusible tape, hem tape, no, you don't, but there's a fusible take hem tape for it. <laughs> and it gets a little bit stuck on your iron and you're like, oh, crap. Don't you just buy a new one? No. Oh. You just quit. <laughs> Hopefully Jane will just quit. Well, I saw this trick, and I thought, yeah, right. Oh, it works. You take a Tylenol. A Tylenol tablet. Does it matter what milligram strength? No, okay. but I, I have the 500. Didn't know if there was a recommended dosage. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, extra strength strength. But, depends on how big your stickum is. No. Okay. Okay. So you take a Tylenol tablet, not a capsule, but a tablet. You turn your iron on to the hottest setting, the cotton linen, and I shut the steam off. Okay. And then you simply carefully hold this. I don't, I did, I wasn't going to make a mistake just so I could prove that it works. But you rub this on the hot iron, on the... Um, crusty spot and this dissolves and bubbles I kid you not I'm like oh what's going on then you just take a, a wash rag I dampened it a little bit and then you just wipe and you buff and if you need to do it again sometimes you need to take another Tylenol but you just rub it on there and then with the wetness you wipe it and you buff it out it leaves no mark, no residue. I'm just like, I can't wait to like have another glunk on there just so I could try it. I've done it maybe four times because I iron more than you. So I've had the need to. <laughs> sure words have never been spoken. So depending on how this episode goes, we have three Tylenol if either of us yeah. need to take it. But yeah, that, I think... Our nifty Halloween cup. You know, so. of course, we always should iron our needlework with a pressing cloth. But you also... With a pressing cloth. Um, but we you also... stop that, Jane. We always <laughs> need to iron our needlework. <laughs> but... <clears throat> so that was just a little tip or trick. See the trick like or treat it. through me. This is what I was going to start. I've got the non-glare. Now I can't get the level. So I, um, this was called for on, believe it or not. This was Cyprium. Mm -hmm. But I'm just doing the little rounds. So this is on 32 count country vintage mocha. Mainly okay. because um, I'm putting them on 4 inch Mounting discs. Rounds. Rounds. Yeah. So and this is um country garden sampling strategy. Yes. Tree. I'm sorry I didn't That's mention okay. that. But I'm just doing three of them and then the square center. I don't know what I'm going to do with them right now, where I'm going to put them. Oh, I sort of kind of do, but um, that's another episode. But this was kind of fun to do. I like it. I, I told Jane I'm kind of iffy on the colors because the palette was much brighter colors than I thought, but I'm doing them in this, in the threads um, that it called for. Two over two. Yep, two over two for a nice dense coverage. I couldn't imagine, oh, I, I could not imagine, I know a lot, this is a hot, really popular, mm -hmm. a lot of people are doing the whole picture. That's a lot of stitching, don't let the, yeah. the just the absolute cuteness of this fool you. Yeah, even the hat is very, oh, now we're recording again. When did it go out? I, I don't know. Oh, no. I think we have to stop.
start over. I am so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody. Okay. Now let's, we need to take a moment to, um, we need to take a short break. break. Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. Go potty, refresher, beverage. We'll be back shortly. Hi everybody. Hi. We're back. Well, we had a little bit of lunch and I had a Diet Coke, so I hope I don't burp. Why? But the show must go on. Yeah, we're tro troopers. Yeah, we'll keep going. We're we're learning for all of you. We do it for you. <laughs> Here we go. I have a pip. When I went to New York, um, I had also seen this blackbird. Because I was looking for something that I had lost. And they can see you. And I ran across this. I must have been just as taken with it as that Hawk Run yeah. thing I bought. Because I bought all of the called for fibers. And I, I've i never dabbled in um, crescent colors. No. And I bought fabric. Which now, mind you, this was about seven years ago. 35 count. What, I must have been caught up. Foreshadowing. I future. must have been caught up in the, I'm uh, taking I'm a plane all, all by myself. I'm going out. I'm with the girls. And I'm just going to, I was running with scissors way I back I don't know how to break it to you, but I'm kind of a big deal. <sighs> so, the thing is, is I'm not sure if I like it. I, I don't know why. Be, well, you know, where am I going to put it? I know I, that's so hard to break that habit. That's a lot of stitching to just put in a drawer. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. Well, I mean, I'm just saying if you're not willing to stitch it and put it in a drawer, I'll stitch it You'll stitch and it. put it in a drawer. Oh, well, we it will, could be my next start. It could be. We will. We'll see who starts it first. I'm gonna have to do a little pip negotiation. <laughs> I can't even. I just can't. I can't even think. I just can't even. Julie. Yeah. Is it time for a tip? Yeah, you're going to do a tip. I'm going to do a tip. No pun intended. <laughs> this is a tip about scissor tips. So if you've got miscellaneous rogue scissors that don't have, you know, um, a leather you know, tip guard or a sheath or whatever that you're putting it in, a very simple solution to that yep. is these are just knitting needle tips that you can get at Joann's, Michael's, your local quilt store, um, needlework store, and also available on Amazon. Well, and you have several um, project bags that have the plastic the on vinyl. the front. Yeah. Yep. And this, I would not I would have to think this would be a, a safety feature yeah. for that. And if you lose them, they're rather inexpensive. You can yeah. just tap on another tip. I like the alliteration. <laughs> tap on another tip. Um, and they're very inexpensive, and they come in a bag with quite a few of them mm -hmm. and multiple colors. Good so, idea. Yeah. Good idea. That's my scissor tip. Well, Love now um, we have to try to create several minutes. Pure magic. A pure magic. If we could only have captured it the first time, yeah, it was some of good. our best work. It was really is on good. The cutting, is on the cutting room floor right now. Well, no, somewhere it's not even can't even salvage it. So I would like to see again your finishes. Are you going to pretend to be surprised like yes, you were the first time? <gasps> so we dug through. One day we dug through the bin of feral finishes, which is fully finished things that are just put in a bin and forgotten. And we found a couple of things that we yeah. thought you might enjoy. Um, this first one, I wish I could remember the designer. I'm kind of thinking it's a drawn thread, but if any of you know what it is and recognize it, please uh, leave it in the comments. It's beautiful. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Love the colors. Yeah. 
And I like the frame. I like the wood inset on the frame. Yep. Very nice. So now that it's escaped, maybe you have to actually put it up. We need to hang it somewhere. Yes. Do I have to dust? No, I'll come dust for you. I'll be, be like your it. dust girl. <laughs> and then this is fancy that. I think these are really old, but uh, for a while they were putting out um, angels and they were very whimsical as you can tell. There's a watermelon mm -hmm. angel. Um, this is the pumpkin angel. I think there's a patriotic angel. Mm -hmm. And I was really afraid that I had lost those um, patterns because I hadn't seen them for a very long time. And then when we were doing organizing in here and kind of separating things by season, I came across them and they're all kitted up and ready to go. So Well, you should pull one out just for a diversion, just for something. Yeah, maybe one of my next starts will yeah. be something. one of those. Yeah, something so to plug very away cute. at. Very Fancy cute, that. yep. Very, very cute. Yeah. And, uh, okay, now I have to kind of take a breath because I know what's coming next. And it is <laughs> Stunning, oh. Stunning Finishes by Julie. Well, I think I will. I won't <laughs> stop it. You're not a loser. But you know what this video process has um, shown us is how many things we have put away, how yeah. many things we had put hours of loving stitches into mm -hmm. and now we're probably some swear words oh oh of course that's part of the process but we're we're pulling them back out and we're revisiting them yeah. it's like seeing old friends yeah and you pull them out and you remember where you were when you stitched them what was happening in your life yeah and, and you bought them for a reason and you stitched them for a reason yeah. and now we're we're revisiting them like you said it's kind of like journaling with fiber and, and absolutely and linen. So I had, I these are it. kind of, um, well, I, I forgot the pattern. So we will put the- It's very French or Italian. It's very French. It, yeah, it's very foreign. So we put, put the link down below because I'm not gonna um, slaughter the pronunciation. But I had stitched these, is oh, it in focus? So cute. yeah. On um, 30 count, over one. And I finished them with, uh, I went through my vintage buttons. Of and course, you would have a vintage button collection. <laughs> I have them in giant ball jars. I love playing, and when Belle was little, she, oh, she would just, it was like gold. She would just sift through them while I was sewing, or she'd separate them out by color or size. But this one is an old metal with some plastic fluting around it. You'd think it was glass, you'd never know yeah, it was plastic. Yeah, but I thought it looked rather ghostly on the back. And then this is silk um, ribbon, seven millimeter, that I ruched. And then this one, this little black cat. Oh. Oh, isn't that darling? So That has cute. a braided edge if it's in focus. I, just a spool that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby. And then the back is polka dot. And then I have a black button inside of a orange button. And I had adhered that to that. And then I have, oh, he is so cute. So cute. Did I say that on each one of these? Oh, so cute. And the back of that I pulled out of my black vintage button jar because I have them separated, of, of course, course, by color. Um, pick three of the perfect ones. This one, remember Sarah from Sarah Stitchy Spot? Hi, Sarah. She um, took the ruching technique with a stripped piece of fabric. And I thought, you know, this is scarecrowy, and that is the perfect ruffled, roughed edge, yeah. fringy. It, I thought it fit the fabric and the piece quite well. Oh, it looks great. So on Instagram, <sighs> we um, will have these in a photo display yeah. so you can see them more clearly. Yeah. And then the oh, other thing so I had was the, um, oh, I do have the pattern. This was Dark Shadows by Sue Hillis. And I was very um and these are done on purple linen purple linen yes <laughs> the infamous purple linen 
This got a little knocked around in transport, so it's a little oh, wiggly. So These are the candlesticks that I got at the thrift store. One is taller than the other one. Okay, but look, you guys. And they look have this fun fabric. fabric on the back. And then I had bought a pre um, beaded fringe and doubled it on either side. Uh, inside the candlestick is a chunk of styrofoam I glued in there yeah. and painted it black at the top and it's a popsicle stick in between the two so, so and good. this is a little uh, bat um, like our earrings I made earrings God help us if I'm gonna get into jewelry now but um, it's a <laughs> bat shaped pony bead that I stuck in the top. And the little companion, let's not forget, I did the witch boo. That, since I only had two candlesticks, that one just sits on a plate stand. And they all have this beautiful um, brocade uh, trim around them. And um, that one has the black polka dotted back. And this one will be on Instagram as well with with a ceramic black cauldron oh, filled so with candy great. corn. Really oh, fun. Really cool. And you must have spent some amount of time kind of fussy cutting this fabric on the back, right? Yeah. To get the swirl to be right I in the did. middle. Yeah. I because it was multiple. There were small swirls and big swirls, and I kind of wanted them to line up yeah, and match. Hold yours up. Let's hold up the yeah. side. So that's what that looks like. Now here's the sad part. I do not have any place to put these. I bet you um, uh, my daughter will be over here jiffy quick. Because she is often oh. offered to take some of this love off that. my hands. So, love, you know, love, there love. you've got um, three, six all together that's stretched. And the stitching is stretched and laced. But the backing I used those dots the Jane gave dots. me they are have extreme hold they're very sticky you like them I loved them for the cotton fabric backing on here yeah loved it very very oh, much and that well <laughs> <laughs> this is like the spooky video yeah this is some bad karma or something today you guys is it because we're doing Halloween stuff in September. Maybe. That they're just, the mojo is messing with our minds. Maybe it's the sampler September gods playing with oh. us. We're not following the rules. That's why you have rules. Oh my gosh. So now we're going to look like deer in the headlights because we're going to be staring at the video button yeah, to make sure we're Because we have recording. no idea where it left off. So I'm <coughs> going to show you... The cats on parade for the third time. <laughs> Three. Third, third time's the charm. <laughs> this is by Blackbird Designs, and it is stitched on thirty-two count cognac. And um, I will repeat for the third time. I feel like I'm repeating myself because we I are. am that I um, follow the tutorial from um, Vanna Pfeiffer. Thanks, now, by Donna. the third time, I know her name. Now, I was a little <laughs> apprehensive. And um, the only difference with her video versus what I was dealing with is this back center seam had um, a continued fence. You had to match it. Yeah, but otherwise, her technique was very clear and very thorough. And I'm really pleased with it. It's I, beautiful. I am. I you should be really proud of it. I Well, now I am after you telling me three times I should be proud. I am <laughs> proud. I'm going to move quickly before we lose camera oh, again. Here's another drum. It's called Things That Go Bump in the Night. Things That Go Bump in the Night. And this is a Julie Norton. And this is my design. And the center seam is here. And so the web is all connected and the little spiders are snaps. I don't know if so you focused cute. it on that, Jane. And it's stitched on 32 count tropical green linen from Witchell. Yes. And And this is still available on your website? Yes. Okay. Awesome. And then this is another way that I finished it on a chunk of wood by my wood man. Thanks, wood guy. Yeah, my wood guy. 
So it's just done. I love that jumble big... rickrack. Yep. It's jumble rickrack is what's covering up the glue seam. And then, of course, a big garden gate handle on that. top. I love that. A good chunky so, handle. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, that's super. I do have another finish if we're still rolling. Oh, look, we are. Look, we are. This is um, a Prairie Schooler. Book number 90. I Nine have a little problem. Zero. I printed this out because when I'm done um, stitching my things, what I used to do is I used to gift them at the Needlework Galleria. They had oh, a table down in the sure. Stitcher's Lounge that you could give a pattern, take a pattern. So I just gave oh, mine that's away. That's a good idea. Um, but I did print it out. Um, it is the Prairie Schooler number 90 the spring and fall and I've done many of them I've done all but the squirrel actually we have enough of those in my yard but this is the black cat I did it on 18 count linen over two which makes it what Julie nine <laughs> you you're a stinker you know me and math and this I I just decided to go with satin ribbon ruched it all up and then I put some black flat disc beads with um, uh, tiny pins just to, and it just oh it's linty but it's just got a black actually this is polar fleece on the back so I um, have that oh, so much great cute? texture I love it yep so let me see what else did I have I think that's your door knocker. I have a door knocker. I had these as kits a couple of years ago. You could put it on a doorknob. You could put it on a hang it from a, a drawer pull or a, a light, you know, yeah. under your lamp. Um, it comes in a kit with everything you need, including the painted wood door knocker or you could just do this separately if you wanted to and finish it as a small to tuck in some and place. Pumpkin buttons. Pumpkin like buttons, that. yeah. It's just a real simple, but I did several of them for the um seasons and this is the Halloween one. Just kind of fun. Those are great colors. Yeah, bright and cheery I yeah. thought. This is the boo one. So um and then I did oh what does that mean? Okay. We're back. I don't know what's going on, but I have a tip that I'd like to share. Have any of you had to just use a piece of um, floss to tie a bow? I know on the Shepherd's yeah, Bush designs, several. her braids are tied with a little bow. Well, um, my little chick um, from my Jelly Bean Jubilee. Brenda Virginia. Yep. Gervais. She um, had a little bow around um, his neck. So I just have this piece of wax. Not thread conditioner. No, from Noteworthy Needle. And I just ran it through several times. And it, of course, coats it and just go like this with your finger to warm it. And that gives you, you would put your little knot in the bottom. And then that's what you would cut really close to the knot. And then you would thread it in your needle and you would tie your bow, but your six strands aren't separating because of that wax has coated it. And it oh. really is a, it's really helpful for tying those bows without all the six strands separating during the bow process. So oh, that was my tip. little tip. I never would have thought of that. Yeah. And then here, because the hell we've gone through with this video, let's have some you chocolate. Guys. This is here. They sell cookies. At the holidays, they're a two-pack in a cute little box. Great for a stocking stuffer. Yeah. But this is a shortbread cookie that's dipped in milk chocolate. Can't be mad at that. No, and I think I just need to put the whole thing in my mouth. You know what? I'm going to put the whole what? thing in my mouth. You are? Then I'm going to... Oh, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the size of that malted milk ball. They're called boulders. And they're big balls. Holy cow. Holy Hannah, those yeah. balls are big. Well, you you devour that while I um, show my little bit of heart in it. <laughs> oh, no, don't bite it. Don't be smooth. <laughs> I'd pay to see that. I'm going to do a quick heart inger. 
This is a design that I created on um, a pre-finished runner. Look at the lace on this. The runner comes with the lace sewn on it and it's 28 count fabric. And I did an extremely, am I on? Yep. Point, an extremely simplistic design. But out of all the I ones- I love the simplicity in there. I would stitch this again because it would, I, I love the plain wrap. And it just, this is one that I would stitch again. Okay. I would say we could just redo this whole entire video, but until yep. we find out what the problem is. You wanted to show yep, how. You can stitch on something. Um, here's the wrong side. Pre that's pre-finished. Pre <laughs> and create your designs on that as well. Oh, so I think I have this one in my Julie stash yes, to stitch. Yes, you do. Do we even dare try to venture forward into our delightful deliveries? I say I say we soldier on. All right, I'm up for it. Okay. Um, you're not having seizures. This is just how it's going. I might have one afterwards. So, how's your delightful deliveries for today? I do have some, and I think oh, they are. This. Here, I can put them back. Can I think back? they are delightful. There. <gasps> We're there we are. It might have been a battery issue. But why don't we pick up with delightful deliveries? Delightful deliveries. I'll talk really fast. <laughs> so, um, continuing with my horrible random fabric accumulation habit, I did pick up a piece of 40 count, picture this plus, ancient. Oh. And it has some great modeling and some great color. Um, I do have something in mind for this one. Oh. Um, so. Anxious to see what you do with it. Yeah. Them. And then um, I did actually buy a piece of fabric with a purpose. Shocking. No. Y yes. Who are you and what have you I done with Jane? So this is courtesy of inspiration from Sarah, from Sarah's Stitchy oh. Spot. This is Lindy Stitch's Beautiful Things. And the verse is, oh my darling, it's true. Beautiful things have dents and scratches too. Oh. And I love that. That is And beautiful. this calls for... 36 count picture this plus oaken earthen sorry earthen Ooh. so I picked a piece I picked up a piece of that and um, beautiful it is just beautiful it is yep so I'm excited about that and then my um, monthly color and cotton came so the fabric for September this is 32 count specter which is a beautiful bluish gray but that's got some nice, um, nice subtle modeling yes, in it. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then the um, thread club. So here's our, again, Ooh, more kind of like fallish. Fallish. Y'all, this is a test of perseverance. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> um, I picked up the 2022 edition of Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornaments. Hopefully you don't have that because oh, that one's for you. Oh, thank you. And then um, I saw several floss tubers that are um, stitching from the Halloween. Oh, I've seen that. And magazine. I've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. um, I thought I bought two, but I only bought one. So maybe we can look at it and um, share. Yes. Um, but it looks like there are some really cute things in there. And I thought of Bella when I saw this skull. Oh, for definitely. The, um, the Day of the Dead. Definitely. So that's kind of cool. I think that's it for my delightful. So I, I don't even know if I dare share them. Shall we just wind this train wreck up or try it one more time? Shall I? Dive into your delightfuls oh. and let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Well, I got fabric and I got books and I got three charts. I'm kind of stressed, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> the fabric I got was... Um, It's hand dyed linen fog. Oh, that's beautiful. But I don't know by who. I would assume it's picture this plus since it's stamped on both sides. And I was going to use pretty. this for a tisket, a tasket by Rosewood Manor. This you know is what? what I thought we would try. I'm struggling to find yeah. the right fabric yeah, for that. Because that, that vellum is, is really on back order. Yeah. We're winding this. Trainer. Shit show up. <laughs>
I'm sorry. Julie. I'm sorry. We'll probably be edited. But um, I'll show my delightful deliveries another time. Don't know what's going on with the camera, with the battery or whatever. But we want you to know <laughs> that Miss Bella did join us and for she... a taste testing. And we did it Bella style. Yes, it's true. We uh, put on our drool and moose apparel that we wear around the house daily. And we did a TikTok. So down below you'll find a I'll, link. I'll put the link for the for TikTok. For a TikTok. God help us. Sorry, y'all. We had so much fun, but it was fun. It, uh, we are real people. And any 16-year-old girl who wants to hang out with her grandma and her grandma's best friend. It says a lot. Aces in my book. Yeah. So I'm sorry, <clears throat> as I'm sure you are too, Jane, yep. but this is life, right? We it will happens. hopefully try to figure out. Yeah. So take it away. Yeah, hopefully we'll have all our gremlins worked out by the next time we see you. And until then, um, like always, we wish you nothing but the best. Lots of health, happiness, and the abundance of things that make you happy. And until we see you again in a couple of weeks, happy stitching to all of you. Take good care. We'll see you next time. Thanks for sticking to the end. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.